Kate Middleton's sweet relationship with the king has been revealed as Charles dubbed her his beloved daughter-in-law during a keynote speech in Kenya. Our monarch shared his loving words at a state banquet in Nairobi where, 13 years before, Prince William and Kate got engaged. It comes after a royal expert has dubbed Charles' estranged son Harry a lonely figure who has lost a lot of pals. Charles addressed the Kenyan president and 350 guests, recalling, It was here, inside of Mount Kenya, that my son, the Prince of Wales, proposed to his wife, now my beloved daughter-in-law. Back in 2010, William got down on one knee in a log cabin at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy and, much to the delight of the king, Kate said yes. Charles, 74, has remained close to Kate since she joined the family in April 2011, with heartwarming public displays of affection in the royal's cheery and most challenging times. In 2021, Kate greeted the king at a G7 reception by calling him his family nickname, Grandpa. Meanwhile, that April, the pair exchanged a soft kiss on the cheek following the emotional funeral of the late Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. But it's not just hugs and kisses the royal duo share. According to royal experts, Kate's warm presence has helped the king smooth out a few fragile cracks between himself and son William. While Charles and William have worked to repair their father-son bond, the same can't be said for Prince Harry, who it's claimed, looks like a lonely figure in America. The king sweetly mentioned the Prince and Princess of Wales in his keynote speech at a state banquet in Nairobi. King Charles, 74, who has been accompanied by Queen Camilla, recalled Prince William and Kate's 2010 engagement in Kenya. He said, It was here, inside of Mount Kenya, that my son, the Prince of Wales, proposed to his wife, now my beloved daughter-in-law. Prince William proposed to his then long-term girlfriend Kate Middleton in October 2010 in a log cabin while on safari at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, where he had spent part of his gap year almost a decade before. Kate is known to have a warm relationship with her father-in-law and has reportedly helped smooth the sometimes fractious relationship between the king and his son, William. King Charles and Kate have also shown several public signs of their close relationship over the past few years. For instance, the Princess of Wales lovingly called her father-in-law by his family nickname of Grandpa when she greeted him at a G7 reception in 2021. Meanwhile, in April 2021, the then Duchess of Cambridge shared a kiss on the cheek with her grief-stricken father-in-law as they left Prince Philip's funeral. Kate consoled Charles as the pair walked out of St. George Chapel following the emotional service in memory of the Duke of Edinburgh. Photographs show Kate comforting the then Prince of Wales over the loss of his father by putting her hand on his shoulder.
She then kissed him on the cheek as they set off from the entrance of the chapel. Elsewhere, when greeting one another at engagements, Kate and the king will often share a friendly embrace and pecks on the cheeks.